Hennett's body and that of his two children were recovered from this jeep by local volunteers. Eyewitnesses say Kenneth drove out of his compound when the rains were at its peak. He attempted to maneuver the flooded access bridge despite warnings to him. That the flood is still there. Even from the gate, he disagreed, say now you can pass. So when he drove to where the flood is, he now sent somebody to test the level of the water by name Inusa. So Inusa foot Rosie and entered the water. The water was here, the level of water was here. They now tell him, okay, don't enter. He now wind up the windscreen and he drove in. The moment he entered, the motor began to dance. He come on leave the roadside to this canal. People shout, people shout, nobody can enter because the current was too much. We to begin the tumble. So as God may like it, they rescue him and he's dead with the two children. AIT gathered that emergency workers failed to arrive the scene in good time, while calls placed to the Nigerian police produced no results. We called uh, the first number, we called the police station. We found out that there is a woman that is the leader there. Home. We called her. She told us that they should come around the estate, they should find the policemen. And the police people that we call them, they we are here that we ask them, they come and say that we can, we can help these people. They we are saying it's all blood, we have one and one. They said that they do not know how to swim. We, they reach out to them. They even call them say, before they come pick call, they no pick immediately. So that's why people say, what well, they're supposed to do, at least they for rescue one. If they cannot rescue the man, they, they allow his mother to see the children. Because we cannot tell his wife something now. We'd lie to his wife, say, oh, your husband, the hospital. Attempts to speak with the rescue officials at the scene proved unsuccessful, as none of them were willing to speak. Locals say Lokogoma and its environs is being threatened by flood since the rain started. They say houses are collapsing, bridges are giving way to gully erosion, while lives and property are in constant danger. Chukwebuka Obudu, AIT News, Abuja.